Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm going to post a video here to help you folks accomplish a Windows 7 backup which has been nothing short of a pain in the butt. Um, it's been going on for months and I don't know why, why they haven't had a, 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 a means of fixing this issue but for some reason they haven't. So anyway, um, I'm going to start by uh, thanking Todd at uh, Crash Tech Dummies, who, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to uh, been able to accomplish this. Here's Todd, and he's got a uh, video on how to use NT Backup on Windows 7. This is uh, this is a key tool to to uh, performing this backup, and I suggest you watch his video because um, it will show you how to install the NT Backup. But most of all down at the bottom here is posted a link for your NT backup. Click on that link and then you will see it takes you to all of the NT file backups or the folder for this download. So click file, click download, and then I suggest you save it in a place where, you know, your desktop, your your downloads, wherever it is you choose to do so. So I've already done this and you'll download it in the form of a WinRAR file. Unzip it. Inside you will have NT Backup, everything you need. So what you want to do is right click, run as administrator, allow, and this wizard will fire up. Which leads me to um, PC Reviews post by uh, Crafty Outlaw. Um, his, uh, this was key in allowing me to, to for this backup to work. Um, so I just want to quickly go back here. And he pointed out, and this is on PC Review, like I said. And you come down here. Uh, of course, I had it there a second ago. Okay, here's what this is this is what this is what allowed it to work for me. Using the GUI, you have to use the backup wizard. Using this wizard, you can eventually get to a screen that has advanced button. This little ditty right here, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have been able to have get, gotten it to work at all. So, let's go to our NT backup program and always start in wizard mode, click next. Backup files and settings, or restore files and settings once you know for down the road. Um, it starts at my documents and settings. I go to let me choose what to back up, and then you're given a check mark here. So we'll go to my computer, C drive, and on the right you'll see everything you wanted to do. Now, click next. You need to choose a path, which would be your external hard drive. Um, you have to have a name for your backup and go save and then go next. So I've got it on my G, external hard drive, Acer backup, and it's going uh, it's to leave me my BKF file. So then click advanced. You want to go normal, go next, but this is what's key. Disable volume shadow copy. Click next. Append the backup to the existing backups, and when you're ready to go, click Next. Now, I'm not going to do it because I already have, but I wanted you to see this is the final report. The backup completed, but some files were skipped. The reason they were skipped is because I unchecked them. So, if I go to, let's go to my backup. Come on, wrong folder. I want it. Of course, of course, of course it's not there when I want it. Where did I put my BK backup files? Oh, let's go to my spare hard drive because that's where they are, of course. And you will see BKF, it's done, the date, everything. If you right click and go properties, you will see that I have 181 gig on my hard drive. How sweet is that? Done. So this program works. It tells me uh, that it was completed, um, Acer Backup BKF created. 
So in the event that I wanted to restore files, instead of backing them up, you click restore, you find your BKF file, and go from there. Um, I hope this helps. I know uh, I'm thrilled because I've tried for months to back up my own Windows 7. And uh, good luck.